Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to another video within the Generative AI tool series. And in this video, we'll continue to talk about how you can evaluate LLMs. So in the previous video, we talked about a holistic view of how you can use the Langsmith tool to sort of build test cases for your LLM and also to rate your LLM's response in terms of different metrics like reliability, coherence, and much more. So if you haven't seen this video, I'm going to hook it up into the cards. Go check it out. So within this video, we'll sort of continue to talk about some more uh, tools that you can use and leverage to build quality uh, test cases for your LLM. So Anthropic provides a great tool uh, for you to generate awesome prompts. So it takes you back to prompt engineering 101 and it sort of builds a prompt for you. So all you have to define is the use case or the uh, problem itself, and it, it'll take care of the rest. So once you have done generating the response, you can build test cases by their newly released feature, which is called Evaluate, and we're gonna check that out in a second. So here, uh, you have the availability of the feature in terms of generator response, but you can go ahead to uh, the whole chat experience and you can find this over here as well so if i go ahead and click it so turn a task description into a high quality prompt uh, include any required input data and output format or try an example so we have like a example for write an email which is like a, the most redundant task if you're working in a corporate setup content moderation if you're like uh, ever like a social media manager or you know you run some campaigns for a particular organization or yourself so what you see here is like a, then we have translate code recommend a product so again most of the redundant tasks uh, that are useful to specific niche of people in their daily routine so it's kind of amazing you really don't have to spend a lot of time because obviously being a total noob about LLMs and the world of LLMs and the AI itself, it's, uh, you know, uh, you can expect a common person to not to follow the best approaches in writing a prompt or, so yeah, this basically solves that problem for them. So they don't have to scratch their head or, you know, think a lot. They just have to just dump their task in here and build a high quality prompt. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna dump in a task that for me is, it's quite important. So I'm gonna dump in a task that takes a Python function and converts it into a test case. So let's go ahead and do that. Convert Python function into a test, test case. So let's go ahead and do that. This might take a while. Okay, so. Okay, it's touch and rating. Uh, you are tasked with converting a Python function into a corresponding test case. This test case should verify the functionality of a given function. There's a Python code. You provide your code here. Perfect. And following these steps to create an appropriate test case, analyze the function. Da, 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 create a test, name the test function with the prefix text underscore. Uh, all right, uh, perfect. Set up the test, import necessary modules, unit test, my test, awesome. Create sample input data that covers various scenarios, even better. Write assertions and handle edge cases, add comments. Perfect, I think this would do. Let's go ahead and continue. There we have it. And uh, so if you go ahead and run it, you would see that it would ask you for the Python function, which is basically hooked up in here. So we'll have to provide a specific function, uh, which it can use, and we can provide it dynamically like this, right? Uh, we can even use this prompt within our code and replace uh, the Python function with that specific function. So that's the whole idea. Uh, about you know leveraging uh, this particular feature so let's go ahead and generate a python text function so i'm going to use uh, openai to do that i have my desktop here all right so let's go ahead and generate a function so what i'm going to do let's say i need a function that reports 
the weather, right? So it fetches the weather report somewhere and it lets you know what today's weather is like. So let's do that. Generate a function that that reports you about the weather today. All right, so there we go. All right, let's copy this and let's paste it over. Uh, paste, yep. All right, and let's go ahead and run. And there we go, here's the test case for the get weather uh, today function. So what it has done, import unit test and import mock, import patch from uh, io import string.io. Okay, import sesh. And then we have this. Uh, all right, so this is where your API is being mocked. Perfect. All right, call the function. And perfect, this seems great. So description, clear sky, temperature 20 degrees, humidity 65% and perfect. Uh, this, this seems good. Uh, and this here is probably the failed use case. So if you go here, uh, successful API response, which was the one above failed API response. Perfect. This is exactly what we need. So we get two variations of our test cases, which will be important in testing this particular function. All right. So now if you see above, you have this uh, feature which says evaluate multiple test cases for this prompt. So if we go here, so we already have this particular test case. And the idea of evaluate is that to basically track and trace the uh, quality of the prompt itself. So you can add some test cases and you can tweak your uh, prompt according to your need and you can sort of compare both of them together. So for example, this here, well, we have the Python function, we have the response and over here we have the ability to sort of rate this response. So according to me, it's very good. So I'm going to rate it for I can go ahead and add a row and import a specific test case. Uh, for example, if I've written something, uh, I can just put it here and I can even generate the test cases. So let's go ahead and do this. So now it's generating a test case and there we go. So process a sentence, process a given sentence by capitalizing the first letter of each word and removing the extra space and replacing numbers with their word equivalents. All right, the code is here. Let's go ahead and run it. And there we go. This is our test case. And I can again go ahead and rate this particular test case. I can say it's good. So this is how, so and the average is calculated at the top. So for this particular version of the prompt, this is our particular rating, right? And uh, you can even toggle and see like this is your prompt over here. All right, so let's go back to the prompt and let me just sort of uh, remove some of the pointers over here from three to seven. And I'm going to say this is my next iteration of the prompt. Maybe these particular pointers don't actually suit my use case, so I can just shave them off and I can go back to uh, evaluate and you can see the prompt has been updated and the evaluation table below has become stale and is read only save changes to v uh, version 115 so as you can see previously we were on version 114 so now since we have changed the prompt so the version itself has to update and we can sort of choose to update it so let's say save changes to v 115 Perfect. Now we are here and we can uh, run this. The answer we would get would be uh, the from the updated prompt. So uh, obviously there would be some implication uh, to the test case. And let's say uh, I, I just rate it. Uh, I, I rate it fair. So it's like two. And I go ahead and run it as well. And then I sort of rate it like, OK, good. OK, so now we have done it and we have the average score. Uh, in place, which is like 2.5. Now, if you see uh, the most uh, rightmost column, it says add comparison. So this is where we can compare uh, our answers from the prompt 
and the prompt themselves with the previous versions. So like the previous version was V114, so we can add a comparison over here and here it says choose version. So here we have V114 and this was 3.5. So this gives us a holistic view and a broader horizon through which we can stress out our prompts in different multiple uh, use cases in different prompts and we can just test them out and we can compare them compare their performance, compare the quality of their results, and then we can go with the best one. So I think it's a great feature. And as the LLM technologies are growing, uh, this feature is a must. Obviously, we need something that can evaluate the metrics of the response generated by these LLMs. And we need something like this that helps us compare um, different prompts with each other and the whole experience of it uh, in terms of the UI in terms of the way uh, things can be organized in terms of different versions is absolutely great and I think it was a need of the R especially for people who have like a huge dependency on their prompts and they need their prompts to be crisp it can be within research it can be within you know online marketing you know, digital marketing and stuff. So yeah, I think it's pretty amazing. Um, if you are a techie or no techie, if you're using uh, these LLMs in some fashion within your company uh, or your job, I would suggest you go ahead and uh, test the uh, generate prompt feature from Anthropic. And it's really gonna be useful. Just like I automated uh, a function to test case process, you can automate a plenty of yours as well. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.